In this video, we're going to take a look at the Finally block. The Finally block is an optional uh, caboose we can put on the Try-Catch block. It's guaranteed to run, but with an asterisk. If your program is terminated because your computer loses power, the Finally block won't run. So you don't want to save everything up and wait till the Finally block to commit it in most cases. You just want the Finally block to do something like close any resources that you have open like a file handle or a database handle or something like that. Now this is optional, but it can go on any try-catch. The try-catch we have so far is validating numerical in input into a J-option pane. So what I can do is I can find the close curly for the catch and just say finally. And there's actually not any resources here I really need to close or anything like that. So I'll just do a simple system out print line and I'll say uh, finished with number, well, let's say character to number validation. What we'll see is that when I run this program now, this message is going to appear regardless of whether the try block works right off the bat first time, or the try block works after several iterations, or we jump out of the catch block by throwing this new exception right here. No matter how we do it, the finally block is guaranteed to run. So let's try it out. I'm going to run, and the first time we'll do it with just valid data. Gallons of gas, 10. Miles per gallon, 10. Now keep an eye down here on the console. We see finished with character to number validation. Now odometer, we also validate there. Once again, finished with character to number validation. No new vehicles. Distance to travel, 100. Okay, reimbursement rate, 44. And no more trips. And everything terminates normally. Let's try to run it one more time, and this time we're going to enter some valid, some invalid data. So 10, the word 10. Okay, invalid number. Do you want to try again? Yes. Finished with characters to number validation. So notice in this case we hit the catch block, where last time we did not hit the catch block. But either way, we still get the message, finished with character to number validation, because that's in the finally block, and the finally block is going to run regardless. So, valid data this time, we get another finished with character to number validation. Valid data on odometer. No more cars. One trip. And there we go. And no more trips. Now, this time, this last run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it one more time. I'm going to enter invalid data, which is going to skip this break right here. And it's going to come down, and it, in other words, valid data hits the break. The break gets us out of the while loop, takes us down to the second while loop. So invalid data is going to skip the break. It's going to come to the catch part. And in the catch part, I'm going to say, you know what? I don't want to keep trying. That's going to throw this exception that we created earlier. But still, we'll see the finally block run. So I run. Okay, 10 gallons of gas. Now I put in garbage data for miles per gallon. And this time, do I want to try again? I'm going to choose no. But notice, even though we're throwing an exception to get us out of this catch block, the finally block will still run. And we still get the message finished with character to number validation, which is the message that's printed by this finally block. And then the program terminates. So finally block runs regardless of the outcome of a try catch. It's a good place to do any housekeeping or closing any connections you might have to a database, to a website, or to a file that might be open. It's a good place to do some final housekeeping to make sure you don't leave connections open. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.